Hello, my bitty bees. Welcome back to my channel. I have honestly fallen behind on videos. I have been hustling in my personal life, so I've definitely fallen behind on things. But I'm back with another review video, and I'm actually going to be filming two review videos today, which I'm really, really excited about, plus a tutorial. So I'm really ready to just sit down and chat with you guys and talk about things that I like and things that I dislike. <laughs> Anyway, my lips look so pale right now. Why are they so pale? Anyway, today's video is a review on a product that I was actually very, very excited about. I was so excited when I saw that I'm from was launching their sheet mask version of the Mugwort Essence line. Um, if you guys recall from around the summertime, I reviewed the toner, the Pure Essence when it came out originally, and also the uh, standard wash-off type mask. And I didn't really have anything negative to say about either of them. I think the, uh, the only negative thing I felt about the product was that the wash-off mask, I thought maybe it gave me irritation, but I honestly am still not sure because there's been a lot of times I've used it after reviewing that video and it hasn't irritated my skin. So with that being said, I was very, very, very excited when they came out with the sheet mask version because honestly, you guys, wash off masks aren't my favorite. I prefer sheet masks 100%. If I had to choose between anything, I always reach for a sheet mask rather than a wash off type. So when I saw that they were coming out with this, I was like, thank you, I'm from, thank you so much for finally realizing that you need to have sheet masks in your collection. They have so many, so many great natural based skincare products that just, it's like, you know, this would be amazing in a sheet, fat, sheet mask form or like a night cream form, uh, lots of stuff. But I was really excited that they got this. So let me dive in and share my personal opinion with this sheet mask. Now, in terms of the actual sheet mask itself, it does come in a pretty little packaging like this. And what I found originally very interesting about the mask is the mask itself. Of course, it's your standard one sheet mask. You put it on your face, you fit it to suit your face shape it's a sheet mask, but aside from that, it is very, very thin and soft to the touch. And when I was originally checking out the brand and checking out what its claims were, I saw that it is a kind of, um, what's the term I'm looking for? When it's trademarked, I guess? That, correct me if I'm wrong, but I think it's trademarked as a sheet mask that delivers a slow release effect. So think of, when you use an Advil or a painkiller and it has the slow release function or any kind of medication with a slow release function or a quick release function, it delivers a certain amount of product into your skin throughout a certain time duration. Now on the packaging, it does specify that it has a 24 hour release period, meaning that this skincare product and sheet mask is supposed to consistently soothe your skin and hydrate your skin throughout a 24 hour time span. That's a really bold claim. And as someone like me with extremely dehydrated dry skin, who is living in Canada where currently right now the humidity level is 26%, you're like, where are you looking be? That's because I have a uh, hum humidity thermometer thing in my room to kind of gauge the temperature. It currently says 26% humidity, which is bone dry. Like it doesn't get more dry than this. 26%. So based on my personal experience, I think this is too bold of a claim. Um, my skin continued to feel normal throughout 24 hours. Yet keep in mind, it didn't feel dry after 24 hours. It didn't feel tight. It just felt normal, like as if I put on a good amount of skincare in the beginning of my day. So there was nothing bold to that claim that I personally felt was true. Um, so if any of you guys have tried out this sheet mask and you feel like it really did hold up to the 24 hour thing and made your skin a lot better than it was comparatively to your other skincare products, then let me know because for me, it didn't really make any much of a difference in terms of 24 hour time released 
calming and soothing and hydration. But in regards to the actual calming and soothing effects it had on the skin, I did notice that my skin was much cooler in temperature. It felt really nice and hydrated and in a good condition after using it and throughout the day. My skin has also been really red and irritated lately because the air has been so dry and I've been going out back and forth every day and there's been this wild windstorm going through Canada. So my face is constantly like a little bit windburned. So you might... I don't know if you can see in camera, but there's a lot of like redness on my nose, my lips are a little bit, and then like my cheeks in the inner area, I have a little bit of contour on right now, but otherwise like my skin is a little red. Um, but I'm gonna do a little demo for you guys. I'm gonna show you kind of the instant results um, of how my skin is before using it and how it is after using it with my little skincare gauge. So let's dive in and take a look at it. In regards to the sheet mask itself, it's really soft, it's really smooth. I like it, it works for me. Not much I can really say about it. It's a sheet mask that's really soft and um, does a good job to deliver the product to my skin. So I think overall, this is a sheet mask that I recommend. If you have really sensitive skin, if you have really dehydrated skin, I say give it a shot. I think it will be worth your while. For me, I love my sheet masks to do exactly that. I want them to either extremely moisturize my face or I want them to extremely hydrate and calm my skin. There's really nothing else I look for in a sheet mask, so yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Remember to thumbs up if you did. Comment down below if you have tried out the mugwort sheet mask. I would love to hear your opinion on it. And of course, subscribe if you wanna see more skincare reviews on this channel. Let me know in the comment section down below what kind of products and brands you want me to start reviewing. I went ahead and bought a Western brand today and I'm really excited to try it out with you guys. And um, yeah, subscribe for more. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.